Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this very nice looking lacy stitch, which I'm calling the Lacy Stitch 2. And I also did it in variegated colors so that you can see a little bit more of how the stitch looks. When I first saw the stitch, all I saw were these what looked like eyes, you know. It's kind of hard to see, maybe easier here. It's a fairly lacy stitch, though it can be very warm, especially if you use washed white yarn and you have a, a blanket underneath. This would still keep you very warm. You can use any size yarn, though, that you want, and then the hook that that yarn recommends. Uh, I went ahead and I used worst white yarn. Get this, y'all. I used worst white yarn, which is four ply for the U.S., ten ply for Australia. I also used a 5 millimeter hook, which is a size H in the US. So I'm not going to forget this time, I'm going to tell you the multiples of the stitch is 10 plus 7, which means that you're going to chain in 10s, 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 10s until you get the width that you want. And then once you do, just add 7 more chains and you're ready to start. So go ahead and grab your 5 millimeter hook and your yarn or whatever hook you're using with your yarn and you can get started. Oh, by the way, I know this is probably backwards for you. This kind of yarn is BB Baltic. It's by Elise. Uh, it's called Securum. It's kind of like their baby line. And their, their lot number is 409320. I don't know if you can still get this stuff anymore, but you're welcome to take a look. This stuff is made in Turkey. And it's 90% uh, acrylic and 10% polymer. Okay, I did my two sets of 10. So I have 10 and 10, and then I did 7. If you have a difficult time chaining loosely, if you always do a very tight chain at the beginning, try to go up one hook size. So use a 6 millimeter hook if you're using a 5 millimeter hook for your project. Do a 6 millimeter hook just to do the chain, and then switch over to your 5 millimeter hook when you're ready to start. So this stitch consists of four rows of repeat, but it's essentially the same. Um, two repeated rows, but since they're kind of off, they're you know not diagonal up and down, but they're kind of off. Um, that's why there's going to be four because you'll be starting and ending the row a bit different. But the stitches are essentially the same through about I would say about. Uh, three rows are pretty much exactly the same that you'll be doing repeatedly. So this really isn't that hard of a stitch. So for row one, we're going to start off by working a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Let me just get a little closer for you here. Okay. Okay, I think that's a little too close. Okay, so we're going to work a single crochet in the next two chains as well. So find the next chain, do a single crochet, and then the next chain, do a single crochet. You have three single crochets in a row. Then you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And you're going to skip two stitches. One, two, and then this third here, you're going to do a double crochet. Then you'll chain three. And again, you're going to skip two chains, and in this third chain, you're going to put a single crochet. And we want to put five single crochets in a row. We've just done one, so we want to put a single crochet in the next four chains. So that's my second single crochet. It's my third. It's my fourth. And that's my fifth. I have five single crochets in a row. Now you're going to chain three again. One, two, three. And we're going to repeat what we did before. We're going to skip two, single crochet, I mean double crochet in the next, chain three again. Then again you'll skip two and you'll start working your single crochets in a row again. So you'll be doing your five single crochets chain three, skip two, double crochet, chain three, skip two, and then you'll be doing your five double crochets again. 
So continue doing that until you reach the last three chains of your row and I'll show you how to end your okay, row. I just did my set of five single crochets and I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to put a double crochet in the very last chain. So you should skip two and then the very last chain put a double crochet. And that's what the end of the row of row one looks like. So row two and this will be the beginning of your repeat on row two so make note where the number is on the uh, video right now because you'll want to come back to here again when you want to come back for the repeat. So for row two we're going to be chaining one and turn. Now you're going to put a single crochet in this very first double crochet of the row and then you're going to put a single crochet worked in on the chain in this chain space here in this chain three space you'll be putting a single crochet then you're going to chain three and now we've come up to our five single crochets you're going to skip the first and the last single crochet so you're only going to be working in with these center three single crochets and you're going to be putting one single crochet in each of those center three. So we're going to skip our first single crochet and work our three single crochets in a row. That's two and three and again we're going to skip this last single crochet as well. So chain three. Now we're going to be working in this chain three space before the double crochet. We're going to work in the, sing uh, the double crochet itself and then again in the other chain three space on the other side and we're going to be putting single crochets so a single crochet in this chain three space single crochet in the double crochet and chain three I mean in the other chain three space you'll be putting a single crochet as well so this is the row of the three double crochets you see you'll do your chain three then you'll do your three single crochets in the center of your five double crochet from the previous row and then in these spaces where you have double crochet, you'll put also three single crochets and chain three. So this was always an easy row for me to remember to do. It was my single crochet row. So again, you come up to your chain five, I mean your single crochet five. So you'll skip the first, work your three single crochets in the center three double crochets. Then you'll skip this last one. And of course, after every set, of three double crochets you're always going to chain three and you'll do that all the way to the end again you'll put a single crochet in the chain three space single crochet in the top of the double crochet and then a single crochet in the other chain space then chain three and you'll repeat this till you get to the end of your row which is your which for here is your single crochet we had the first three stitches we did were single crochet so again we're going to skip this very first single crochet we're only going to be doing a single crochet in the last two single crochets of this row so one single crochet in the very last one we'll also put a single crochet and that's what it looks like at the end of row two so for row three you're going to begin this row by chaining six. So chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then your turn. Turn your work. Okay. So we have our three single crochets here, and we're going to want to increase this number to have it back up to five like we had here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work a single crochet in this chain three space, a single crochet in each of the three single crochets that we already have, and then we'll work another single crochet in this chain three space, which will increase our two single crochets on the ends of it here. So first doing a single crochet in the first chain three space, a single crochet in our already pre-existing three single crochets, and then work a single crochet in that last chain three space. So now we have five single crochets there. Now you want to chain three, 
one, two, and three. And we're going to move over here where we have our th next three set of single crochets. But this one we're going to actually only be working with our the middle of these three single crochets and we're going to put a double crochet there. And then chain three. And then again we're going to be expanding the next. See this is this is the, cha the uh, chain three and double crochet here which is exactly what we're making here. See what I was saying? It's off-centered so it's going to be um, kind of opposite but it's basically the same. So these three here we're also going to do an increase so in the chain three space before it we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to do a single crochet in the three single crochets from last row and then in the next chain three space you'll do another single crochet and as always chain three after. Now the next set of three we're going to work our double crochet in the center of the single crochets. Chain three and then again you'll be repeating this for the whole row and when you get to the end you're going to put a single crochet in the chain three space and you're going to work a single crochet in the last two single crochets. So it'll give you a total of three single crochets there at the end. One worked in the chain three and then one worked in the last two single crochets. And that will be the end of row three. So for row four, just need to find my spot here. Okay. So for row four, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to put a single crochet in the very first single crochet and the second single crochet. Then we'll chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're going to work this space like we did before. We're going to put a single crochet in this chain three space, a single crochet in the top of the double crochet, and a single crochet in this chain three space giving us three single crochets in a row and then you'll chain three and then again here where we have our five we're going to skip that first single crochet and we're only going to put single crochet in each of these three middle ones so again this is what I call the three single crochet row because you're going to do three single crochets chain three then you're going to do three single crochets again so this is a very simple row. So go ahead and do that all the way to the end and I'll show you how to end this row. Okay, we have our ending chain six here. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the single crochet which is here. So this is the first chain, this is the second chain. You're going to skip those two chains. You're going to be working in the third and fourth chain. So find your third chain here and put a single crochet and then work a single crochet in the next one as, as well and that's going to end your one two three that's your fourth row so this will be the fifth row that we're about to start which will be the end of the repeat you'll be repeating rows two through five so for the fifth row here we're going to chain one and turn and we, we're going to work a single crochet in the first two single crochets, so one and two. And then in the chain three space, we're going to work another single crochet. Chain three. And now in this center of these three single crochets, we're going to do our double crochet. And chain three. And now in the next one, we're going to be doing our increases so on either side of our three single crochets and the chain three spaces we're going to be putting a single crochet and we'll put a single crochet in the three single crochets that are already there and then one in that chain three space then chain three and then we'll be working our double crochet again in that center so you're going to be repeating this for the rest of the, the row and when you get to the end, I'll show you how to end your row. Okay, I've did my increase on either side of my chain three spaces. 
and my single crochet is in the center so I have my five single crochets in a row then you do your chain of three and in the row you're going to be putting a double crochet in this very last single crochet of the row and that will end your row four which is essentially if you can look at it here it's essentially what we did for row one but you just worked in the chain instead of the stitch so it was important that I showed you this so that you know what stitches to use so you're going to start from row two to row five and keep repeating that over and over and over again until your project reaches the desired size so I want to thank you guys so very much for watching I just want to show you this little thing here variegated it's so cool if you like this tutorial please don't forget to click like and share this video it helps me out so much if you haven't checked me out on social media you can find the links underneath the description box below you can find the link to the graph also the link to the pattern with pictures and everything that will help you out and if you're on the right handed version you can also find the link to the left handed version and if you're on the left handed version you can also find the link underneath for the right handed version so either one um, also if you haven't checked out my Facebook group where we share free patterns and crochet projects that we've done you can check that out it's called crochet for the masses also if you're interested in ordering one of these wooden uh, furls hooks you can find a link below that will take you to a place to buy one of those please use the link that is underneath the video because that's where uh, it takes you where they know it was from me so that I'll, I'll get uh, a percentage so I recommend as well if you're going to order one of these you order it with the extended hook if not it, it's going to come in like very small and it's going to be impossible to do any kind of clusters where you need some decent amount of loops on your hook so and you're going to be using it for everything like I do definitely do with the extended hook so that is it I just want to thank you guys so very much for watching and supporting this channel and the patrons especially for you who donate a dollar or more to me every month to support this channel I want to, I want to tell you I appreciate so very much what you do for me and for this channel so that's it thanks so much for watching